All right, BFit Nation, looks like we are live. Welcome back to a special workout Wednesday edition of our BFit Live program this week. All right, team, as we do each and every week, BFit Live program focuses on helping strengthen our bodies, keeping our bodies moving, activated, and working on strength with cardio resistance movements and resistance-based movements throughout a targeted program workout for today. All right, team. So as we get settled in, uh, I'm Roy Montes, our, your VFIT ambassador for the exchange program. Um, we will go through four different movements for today. So get settled in, find your workout space, get, grab that towel, grab some water, grab any resistance that you may have available to you, whether it's a dumbbell or a kettlebell or anything with that's weighted that can help challenge you through these four different movements for today. It's going to be a full body resistance-based workout for today. So the goal here is to challenge yourself to the best of your ability, to your comfort level, to your fitness level, but challenge yourself, give yourself and give myself all of your effort for today. And we will have a nice, strong workout. All right. Very um, engaging and to help push you through this week's um, strength training program and to help you move towards the weekend and towards next week. All right, team. So. Um, once again, so let's go through the timing for today, team. The timing is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four movements with, within those four rounds, and one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, team, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. If you have any uh, questions or comments or modifications or anything like that, drop them in the comments below. Uh, I have my screen up, so I will be able to track with you and to follow along uh, with any questions or any positive encouragement to our BFit Nation. Uh, that way we can read them out. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, let us know where you're engaging from. Uh, did you have a good weekend? What are your goals? Let us know. Let us know how our BFit program can help you uh, to stay ready, to stay resilient, and to stay fit. So uh, with that, our BFIT programmed workout for today. I'm gonna to go through and demo each of these four movements, and then we will jump into some dynamic stretching, and then we will jump into the workout, which is just under 20 minutes, team. All right, so give me all of your effort, give me a little bit of uh, attention right now, and we will go through the four movements for today. So we're looking at Carla real quick. Carla, thank you for sharing, all right? That's a great way to stay encouraged. That's a way to keep your friends, your family members, your spouses, uh, coworkers accountable. That way we can help keep each other uh, on that health and wellness uh, positive track team, all right? Hi from Colorado, Mike. I'm um, sorry, Jerome. <laughs> Hi from Colorado. All right, team. Carla from Phoenix, Arizona. Nice to see you all in the chat. All right, nice of you to join in. And I hope you're ready for a good workout. All right, team. We're looking at taking things slow and controlled, but with some resistance. All right, team. So the first of the four movements for today, we're looking at standing up nice and tall because we have a forward lunge with a twist. I hope you can hear me from back here, team. So we're going to step to the back of our workout space. We're going to take that forward lunge, and then we're going to add in a bit of disruption to really focus on balancing and core stability with a small, slight twist at the bottom of the movement, okay? So you're back at your workout space. You're gonna take that nice forward lunge forward, right? <clears throat> forward lunge forward here. And then we're going to take a nice, small, slight twist at the bottom of that movement, come back to center, and then push back to that back of your workout space, all right? A few key notes here. When you take that front lunge forward, that front leg wants to hit in that 90 degree bend, as you drop that rear knee down, chest stays up, rollers, shoulders are rolled back, small, slight twist. That twist is going to be at the direction of that front leg foot, all right? So if your right leg is forward, leading that lunge, your twist is going to be in that direction towards that lead leg at about a 45 degree angle. So your head and your shoulders, your torso, wants to follow with that slight twist, feel that core engagement, feel those obliques, firing up and activating, and then come back to center and you're right back up to standing position. So forward lunge with a twist and you're right back to center. Alternate left leg, left leg and right leg and come back up to standing position. All right, team. Movement number two, we're working on some upper body strength here with a bicep curl to an overhead press. So you're gonna grab two dumbbells here. 
A pair of dumbbells here. You're gonna take a nice strong stance. Feet shoulder width apart, as always, soft bend at those knees. Okay, palms are gonna be facing you at the beginning. We're gonna go into a nice strong bicep curl, hinging at those elbows. And from here at the top of your position, you want to rotate up into an overhead press. Control that on the way down, control that negative, control that contraction, and you're back up with a bicep curl, rotating overhead press. Control that movement Movement here. We have 40 seconds of work of a bicep curl to an overhead press. All right, sticking with one dumbbell here for movement number three. We're gonna do each side for 20 seconds. So we're gonna take a nice strong split stance here. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. All right, take that left hand. We're gonna place it on our left knee. We're gonna go into a bent over row, all right? With that knee supporting our torso and that upper body for that bent over row, okay? Nice compact movement here. Key points here is to keep our hips square to the floor, keep our back nice and flat and our head in that neutral position. So we want that spinal alignment from our neck all the way down to our spine. We're gonna take that split stance here. We're gonna engage our lats by rowing, tucking in our elbow nice and tight, close to our torso, controlling that weight all the way down and squeezing on the way up, all right? At that top movement, we want that 90 degree bend at our elbow with that row. We're gonna do 20 seconds on our right arm, switch, 20 seconds on our left arm, all right? Wherever, whichever side our hips are opened up, that's gonna be the side that we row. All right, team, that is our dumbbell row. And last and final movement, movement number four, we have a plank variation. So we are going to attack, fire up, and engage our core, okay? We have a high plank. We have a few different variations for um, movement number four. So let's start off. I will go through each one as we go through the workout, but to start off with a, cue, a few key points on our plank position. As always, we want our hands stacked underneath our shoulders. We want a nice flat back. Our hips are square to the floor and our feet are shoulder width apart. All right, that's gonna be our nice plank position. If we are in a high plank position, this is it. If we were in a low plank position, we are on our elbows with that nice same great form. All right, team, elbows stacked underneath shoulders, nice flat back, head is square, looking down at the floor. And we will walk through four different surprise plank variations for movement number four. All right, team. How does that sound? How are we doing? <laughs> all right, team. Looks like we are all here. Looks like we are ready to go. So let's start off with some dynamic stretching. That way we can get ready to work out. All right, let's start to the back of our workout space here. We're gonna take that right leg. We're gonna extend it back towards our hips, towards our glutes, push those hips forward, take that left arm, extend it straight up. You should feel that stretch in your shoulders, your mid to upper back and your hips, all right? Go ahead and sit in that position for one seconds to three seconds and alternate left leg and right leg. Good, this is a great time to feel out how your body is feeling today, how it's performing today, how you were doing. All right, team, scan that body. See where you may need to sit in that dynamic stretch just a little bit longer. We'll do each of these movements for about 30 seconds, each of these stretches. Focus in on our breathing here. Last one here. All right, team, let's go into lateral lunges. Fixed feet, lateral lunges. So our feet are gonna be shoulder wider than shoulder width apart, but our toes are gonna to be facing forward and straight from here. We're going to shift our weight over to the left and to the right, feeling that stretch in the inside of our thigh and really just open up our hips, getting ready for some lower body work and getting our bodies activated and ready to work here. All right. A few reps here to the left and to the right. Good, really feeling this one out here. Lateral lunges out in three, 
two, one. All right, team, let's come to the top of our workout space here. We're gonna go to a reverse lunge with and overhead reach. So at the top of your workout space here, find that space. You're gonna take that right leg. You're gonna extend it back into that reverse lunge. Drop down, right leg, right leg. Right arm comes up and reaches over to that left, to that lead leg side. Come back, stand back to center, and left leg goes back. Left arm goes up and reaches over to our right. Feeling that stretch in our lats here. We're about to activate those and isolate those lats with our reverse, with our dumbbell row. So now's a good time to get some blood flow into our lats by stretching them out right here. Also opening up our hips with that reverse lunge. Nice and controlled, really pushing some blood flow here into our targeted muscle groups as we go through this motion. Last three here, out in two. Last rep here. Ooh, okay. All right. Let's go into hip circles here. Let's kind of bring our breath and our cardio back down here. So big circles here, right leg to the back, and then moving to the front, left leg to the back and to the front. Reverse and forward. Nice big hip circles here. Really just engaging those hips, open them up. Find our breath, find our breathing, gather under control here. Good. Last three here. Out in two. Last one. All right, team. Now, just a few last dynamic stretch here. We're going to go into a YTW. So, we're focusing on our mid to upper back and our shoulders here with that YTW. So nice, strong stance here. This is gonna be our center. We're gonna make a big Y with our arms, thumbs facing the back of the room here, feeling that activation in our mid to upper back. Big T here. Good, shoulder blades squeeze together. And a big W here. Again, shoulders, mid to upper back. Big Y once again, nice, strong left and right. Arms going up. Big T, a little further than last, and a big W here. Nice deep breath in, deep breath out. Big Y, last round here. Good, big T, stretching out left and right, and big W here, showing out those biceps that we're about to work. Good job, team. All right, looks like we are ready to go. Again, grab those dumbbells, grab that towel, grab that water. We'll get focused in. I will dial in the timer here. Again, share this workout with your friends, with your family. Keep each other accountable. Let's push each other. Let's keep each other healthy and safe though. So challenge yourself, but to our fitness level team. All right, as we start the clock here, eight seconds on the clock. Before we get started, we have a forward lunge with a twist. All right, team, I'm gonna start off with no weight first and then I will jump in with weight. So back of my workout space here, we have a forward lunge with a twist. My upper body and head follows with that twist at about a 45 degree angle. Good, nice strong movements here with that forward lunge. I like to really dial in that twist here as if I'm holding weight, which I probably will be in a second third and fourth round. All right, that's a good way to scale up the movement here. 10 seconds. Out in eight seconds here, team. Good, last five. Out in three, two, one, and time. Recover here for 20 seconds. We have a bicep curl to an overhead press. Coming up in 10 seconds. So grab a pair of dumbbells here. Take a nice strong stance. You can stand or you can kneel, either one here. We are up in three seconds, two, one. Bicep curl here, nice strong movement. Up into that overhead press, control that weight back down, keep those elbows tucked in, close to our sides here. Good. Bicep curl, overhead press, good. Palms face you, palms face face. Palms face away and overhead press. 
Good. Last 10 seconds here. Out in seven. Last three, two, last rep, finish it out. And time, 20 seconds of rest here and we have a dumbbell row. Good job, team, good job. All right, this is where we take a nice strong stance, that split stance here, left leg is forward, right leg is back, left hand is on our knee, dumbbell and palm facing you, nice flat back, hips are square in two, one, squeezing at the top here, keeping that back flat and that head, your gaze is looking just about a foot away from your toe, your left toe here. Good, we're working, working each side for 20 seconds here. Alternating in four, three, two, one, shift. Left arm here. Again, nice strong split stance here. A lot of your weight is going to be on that front leg. Good, last three here. Out in two, one, and time. Recover here for 20 seconds. All right, team, as promised, we have a plank variation. So we're gonna get in that high plank position on our hands up, elbows stacked. From here, we're going to tap laterally. Left leg extends out to the left, right leg extends out to the right. Here we go, 40 seconds of work in that high plank position. Hands are stacked underneath our shoulders. Back is flat, hips are square. Left leg is tapping out laterally to the left. Right leg is tapping laterally out to the right. Controlled movements here, keeping our core nice and tight. If we need to scale back this movement, let's stick with that high plank position. If we need to scale back even more, let's drop to our knees right here, right? Keeping our core nice and tight. Our belly button is tucked back towards our spine, out in two, one, and time, 60 seconds to recover here. This is what we get. Round one is complete, round one is done. So now we know the movements. Now we look to scale up the movements. This is a great time to really analyze where we were at with round one, and then try to look forward to scaling up the movements, whether it be heavier weight, whether it's a faster tempo. So moving quickly through the motion, through the motion, through the movements, through the reps. Um, Maybe it's the pause at the top of the movement, okay? Let me know, how are we doing team? Good, so many good comments here. Stacy, once again, welcome in. I hope you are doing well. Let's have a good one, let's push each other here. 15 seconds of rest here, we have a forward lunge with a twist. This time I'm gonna grab a dumbbell, hold it at my stomach level here, left and right, grabbing the weight, back of the workout space here, we are up in three, Two, one, forward lunge with a twist. Left leg goes forward, I twist to the left. Right leg goes forward, I twist to the right. Keep that chest up nice and proud. Good. Good job, team, good job. Stay with me. Nice and controlled movements here. Again, you can scale up this movement by really Raising the tempo. If you could go a little quicker than I am right now, let's do it. Last eight seconds. Find those last reps here. Out in four, three, two, one, and time. Good job. That little twist really fires up and activates our core, right? Our obliques whenever we twist to the left and or to the right. Eight seconds here, bicep curl to overhead press. Coming up in four seconds. Nice, strong stance. Don't forget about your foundation here. Always soft bend at those knees. Control our weight on the way up and especially on the way down. Good. If that overhead press is feeling a little bit uh, foreign to you, let's go ahead and stick with a bicep curl only, right? Nothing wrong with eliminating the overhead press and sticking with just the bicep curl. Last 10 seconds here. Good, out in four, three, two, one, and recover here, team, recover, recover. All right, again, dropping one bell here. 
dumbbell row. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Split stance here, seven seconds. Picking up my weight here. We are up in two seconds. One. All right, team. Really squeezing at the top. If you have a lighter weight and may not have access to a heavier option, think about timing under tension. Think about tempo. Think about squeezing at the top and controlling four seconds on the way down. Three, four, up. Pause, one, two, three, four. Alternate, left arm here. Good. 10 seconds, good. A little time under tension, tempo work can really challenge us in a different way. Last three seconds here, two, one, and time. 20 seconds to recover. Good job, team. Good job. Now I mentioned plank variations, so we're gonna mix things up a little bit through each round. This time we are on our side, on our right side, left on our elbow, elbow is stacked underneath our shoulder. We're gonna hold this side plank for 40 seconds here. So think about this movement, elbow stacked underneath our shoulder, relatively straight line from our neck all the way down to our ankles. All right, our obliques are on fire, facing the floor here, core is nice and tight. 20 seconds in, now here it is. Straight line from the front, as well as from that aerial view. Make sure that those hips are pushed forward. Try not to dip. Out in three, two, hold it, one, time. <laughs> Good job, team. Good job. How did we do with that? How did we do with that side plank? That was our right side. Round three will be our left side. Left side, strong side, all right. <laughs> all right, good work, good work. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's get it team, let's get it. Good work, good work. I hope everybody had a great weekend. On a personal note, I came off of the Chicago Marathon, so I am feeling just a little bit sore, ran a few miles, but um, feeling really great. I was in Chicago, 26.2 miles to be exact. <laughs> and it was every bit as fun as it sounds. All right, eight seconds team, forward lunge with a twist. Again, activating our core to the left and to the right with that twist. Back of our workout space coming up in three, two, one. Round three coming up, forward lunge, activating that core, pushing back. Nice strong lunge, good. Dropping that rear knee down to the floor, pushing those hips back, 90 degree bend at that front knee, making sure that knee tracks over the toe or at the ankle. Good, nice controlled lunge here. Feet are shoulder width apart at that lunge. That's gonna help with stability when you go into that twist. Five seconds here. Out in three, two, one, and rest here. Rest, rest, rest. Bicep curl to overhead press coming up. Good job, team, good job. Stay with us here, stay with us. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Bicep curl to overhead press coming up. Here we go, 40 seconds on the clock. How many reps can we get in? Controlled movements here. Good work, team. Keep it up here. Palms facing you, palms facing the face, and away. Again, if we need to eliminate that overhead press, let's go into a nice, strong bicep curl, keeping those elbows tucked in close to our sides. Shoulders are rolled back, chest is up nice and proud. Out in five seconds, it's at least two more reps, right? Three. Two, one, and time. Good job. Good job. Dumbbell row is up next. 10 seconds here. Left leg is forward, right leg is back. Isolating our lats in five seconds here. Split stance here, two, one. Left hand is just resting on that front knee. 
Hips are square to the floor, back is flat. Our head is looking down about a foot and a half above our toe, right in front of our toe. Five seconds here, we're gonna alternate. Three, two, last rep. Go ahead and alternate. Alternate hands and side. Good. Little breathing note here. Breathe in, nice deep breath on the way down. Exhale, as you pull that weight up, as you pull that arm up, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, team. <laughs> Last round was our right side plank. This round, round number three, will be our left side plank. We are up in five seconds. Let's get down to the floor here. Left side on our left elbow here. Elbow stacked underneath our shoulder. Feet are together. Raise those hips. Relatively straight line from our neck all the way down to our heels in that front view, as well as that aerial view. Keep those hips pushed forward in that straight line. Find that focus, engage our core. Breathing nice and strong here. Good. Engaging our glutes, engaging our quads. Keep it tight here, last seven seconds. Out in four, three, with a smile, two, and one. Good job. <laughs> 60 seconds to recover, team. Grab that towel, grab that water, stay hydrated for me. And we are coming up on our last and final round. Last and final round. How do we feel? How do we feel? <sighs> Getting nice and warmed up, Stacey. Yes, ma'am. Just now, round three. I know, same here. <laughs> Same here, um, always with resistance, always make sure that um, you kind of gauge your body uh, on those first few reps or even that first set um, to be exact, uh, safety and um, you know, being aware of how your body is feeling that day uh, with a lighter, maybe a lighter weight first and then scaling up, right? To really gauge your body and see how you feel. 10 seconds here and we have that last and final round forward lunge with a twist. As we like to say, it's our last round. So our last round is our best round. We are starting in three seconds here. Two, one. Back of our space here, forward lunge with a twist. A little two for one action here. Lower body engaging our quads, our glutes, hamstrings as a second and third target, really to bring us back to standing position. Good, 20 seconds here, course nice and tight. Activated, especially with those side planks. Good team, last 10 seconds. Out in seven. Last four, three, two, and time. Good job. Bicep curl over at press, setting up here, two dumbbells. 10 seconds here, find our breath. Grab that weight. Let's go in three, two, one. Curl to press. Good. Good, if you scaled up in weight, let's keep our form nice and tight here. Control that weight on the way down. Again, we'll lift with a purpose here. Don't forget about our foundation, nice strong legs, soft bend at our knees, feet, just that shoulder width apart or inside. Give you a little bit of stability and foundation whenever you press up, out in five seconds. Last rep here, two, one, and time. Good job. Good job, team. All right. Dumbbell row is coming up, setting ourselves up, left leg forward, right leg back. Nice pull movement here. After a push, going up in two, one, split stance here. And we row nice and strong. Heads looking down, back is flat. <sighs> Try to keep those hips square to the floor. Five seconds and we're gonna alternate hands. Out in two, one, into my left hand here. Split stance, once again, rest that hand 
forward hand on that knee. Again, try to keep, reach that 90 degree bend at our pulling arm. Last three, two, one, and time. Recover here, 20 seconds here. All right, team, last and final plank variation. We are going to move between a low plank and a high plank. So on our elbows, on our hands, we're gonna walk it out here for last 40 seconds here. All right, team, in 40 seconds, <laughs> here we go. High plank position, hands are stacked underneath our shoulders, feet. Shoulder width apart, we're gonna drop down to our elbows nice and comfortably. Then we are going to extend it back up into that high plank. So into a low plank and then into a high plank. Now here, keep our knee, keep our hips square to the floor. Keep our back nice and flat. Make sure to all sink hands whenever you're going up into that high plank position. Eight seconds team, finish this out. Out in four, team, keep it up. Two, one, and time. <sighs> team, round of applause here. Way to go, way to finish. Woo. How are we doing, team? Good job. Good job today. That wasn't, a, that wasn't an easy one. But you know what? Not... All of our workouts are easy, right? It doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. We're trying to challenge each other. We're trying to challenge our bodies, challenge our mindsets. That way we can progress and be stronger the next time around. The next time we feel this challenge on our bodies, on our minds, we'll be able to push through, really build up that callus, right? That we need to sustain that strength, that pressure, that endurance, that whatever, whatever it may be, team. But Great work today, great job. Again, this special edition of our BFIT Live Workout Wednesday. If you uh, missed our live workout, we host these normally on Mondays. Today's a special uh, workout Wednesday edition, but next week we will be back on Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time is our normal BFIT Live program workout. So um, as always, great work today. Um, I, you know, I, I couldn't ask for more effort. What you put in is what you're going to get out of the program. If you, you know, scale up and wait, or if you just complete the workout, that is what it's all about, right? Finding that comfort, finding that comfort in the challenge and really just elevating your strength, right? Um, you know, again, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So great work today, team. Um, Stacy, as always, great to join us. Mark, thank you so much. Yes, uh, the marathon was, was really a lot of fun. Uh, again, a great challenge for me. Uh, Jerome, absolutely. Hello, Carla. And um, thank you again, our BFIT Nation team. Uh, as always, it's so much fun. If you need additional information or additional uh, workouts, you can find more on our Facebook page under our playlist, uh, BFIT playlist to be exact, where we catalog all of our past workouts there on our Facebook page. If YouTube is your platform of choice, Go ahead on, head on over to our Shop My Exchange YouTube platform. Find that subscribe button, smash that subscribe button, and look for our BFIT Live uh, program workouts on that platform as well. Additional information can be found on our BFIT Live program on shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT at shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT. All right, we have fitness um, articles and nutrition. We have wellness services and we have gear. We cover it all in a holistic approach here to really set ourselves up for the best possible success for our health and wellness team. All right. As always, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes here. Great job today. Great work. Have a great rest of your week. And I'll see you again next weekend. Bye, team.